now we are we still add the sodium hydroxide and we are waiting until the entire solution becomes pink I think we are very close because the pink color appears and it disappears slowly this means that we are very close to the end point so we should be careful okay this is called a neutralization process I am neutralizing KHB the acid by adding sodium hydroxide we are very close I think we need one more drop yes that's it okay can you observe the pink color so now let's take the reading of the burette it's 21.6 milliliters this is the final volume while the initial volume was zero now we are concerned with the difference between them we are concerned with the amount of sodium hydroxide uses or used to neutralize the uh, KHB acid this amount is the difference between 21.6 and 0 which means 21.6 milliliters this volume will be used in the next step in calculations okay now as I will explain it during the, the class we will uh, uh, carry out a simple calculation process by which we can determine the exact concentration of sodium hydroxide stock solution after this step the concentration will be very very accurate then what I'll do in the last step we repeat this step we refill the burette with sodium hydroxide with exact known concentration to determine the concentration of two acids HCl acid and H2SO4 acid those two acids have unknown concentration so by titration with standard dye sodium hydroxide I can determine their concentration and this is the last step of our experiment so what I am gonna do now I will refill the burette with sodium hydroxide again then I will clean this flask I will add HCl 10 milliliters certain volume with phenolphthalein and I repeat the same steps once I finished the procedure will be repeated using H2SO4 by simple calculations, I can determine their concentrations as I will explain during the class, okay? Yeah, I'll come back when I clean everything. Okay, last step. Here I have HCl in this volumetric flask. Um, I will take exactly 10 milliliters using this device. This is called a pipette. It's more accurate than graduated cylinder. I'll take exactly 10 milliliters. Then I will start the titration process. Okay. Here I am using 10 milliliters pipette, so I will fill it to zero. Okay. You can focus here on the zero division. Yeah. I don't know if it's clear. Maybe I need one more drop. Okay. Yeah, it's ready now. Okay. This is ten milliliters, exactly ten milliliters of HCl. Why the volume should be certain and accurate? Because it will be used in calculations. While in KHB, as we said. The volume of water was not important because the moles in KHB will be determined by the division of mass over molar mass. While here, moles of HCl will be determined by multiplying the molarity times volume, which means the volume is important. Then I will add one drop again of phenolphthalein. One drop is enough. The burette is refilled with HCl uh, with uh, sorry NaOH again here okay then I repeat the previous procedure adding sodium hydroxide stepwise until we reach the end point okay okay 
as you can see here the pink color yeah, the entire solution became pink I'll wait until the color is stable yes okay clear let's take the volume now the volume is 10.9 milliliters record it it's 10 0.9 minus 0 which means the volume of sodium hydroxide used is 10.9 milliliters with HCl last step I repeat the procedure same everything but this time using where is it uh, H2SO4 okay H2SO4 is here so wait we wait me until I clean. okay I am performing now the last step, the last part of this experiment. Here is HCl. I repeated everything. I refilled the burette initially to zero with the standardized sodium hydroxide. Then I started added, uh, adding sodium uh, hydroxide dropwise. I think I need one more drop. But this time with H2SO4. Okay, one more. Yes, that's it. Okay, look to the color. Let's try the reading, record the reading. The reading is 20.8 milliliters. It's a 20.8 milliliters with H2SO4, while it was 11 or something like this with HCl. Okay, Shiva, now everything is ready. We collected the data required to complete our lab report. I'll explain during the class what we are going to do with the lab report and how to fill, how to fill each item uh, completely and correctly. Thank you very much.